Star One. Welcome back. So let's enjoy Lore Busters. And you know what I feel like doing? Doing two sessions in the same day. So guess what? See that? 621? Oh man, I just did that today. So let's do it again. Woo! He's mad because I fucked up. A failure! <laughs> Wham! Wham! Kosuke was scolded by Rin afterward. That's okay, it doesn't affect the story. Hold Nikki! During the short break between classes, Masada threw something at me. What's this all of a sudden? Seriously, don't have to return it to me so suddenly. Something going on with my internet. Huh? What's it doing in a plastic bag? Actually, it was also wrapped so heavily in duct tape that I couldn't take it out. So, Don't be so obvious, Masato. Besides, this is an English textbook you got there. English class is already over. Come on. What do you do? Fess up. Forget about the idiom dictionary. We don't have to try to be so eloquent. Just tell me already. That's a total round of totally roundabout explanation. I'm not getting anything. Out with it. Wakate. No, 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 no. I don't really understand what you're what you're so proud of, Masato. Jeez, I'd rather you kept it my belongings in their original state than plan on returning them. Well, it's not like this dictionary was that important. I only use it every now and then, during the most boring classes, just to kill time. It always annoys me in the classroom. Hmm? I heard the door open. Yeah, hello, hello. A girl made her way through my classmates. Morning, Saigusa-san. The person who entered the room was called Saigusa-san. Saigusa Haruka, to be precise. She's in a different class than me, however. Seems like she had a friend in here, and hence was regularly sh coming over. Who is it? Masato-kun, hello! Oh, hello. Ato mo chotto de yorei da zo. Late again? Mata wa yokei ka na? What do you mean? Kesa mo chikoku na no sa? I wonder why everyone around me always looks so proud when they well, she must have flocked to you then, Masato. If you keep being late like this, the dorm head will find out about you. Carefree as ever, aren't you? Sayuza-san said, after taking a glance at the classroom clock, you. Why do you ask? Masato returned it to me only a moment ago. Ah, I guess. Not really mine, but. Arigato. Jane. Sagas has done snatched a dictionary from my hand and darted out of the classroom before I had a chance to react. What's that all about? I looked at the door. Sagas had just left the room. Obviously, she was nowhere to be seen anymore. 
The classrooms are in a completely different area from ours. Did we even make it into our next class on time? The classrooms are open, and this time it was the teacher answering. Back to your seats, everyone. I'll be taking attendance. I took out a textbook and my loose leaf notebook pad from my desk. After that, I wondered how many steps it took to get to the psychic science classroom from here. Five? Probably. It's lunchtime. We gathered in the cafeteria as always. え、試合の日程も決まってるんだ。とっとと集めて練習を始めないと。結束も何もあったもんじゃない。それ以前にいろんなものがないっていうんですけどね。午後からはバラバラになってメンバー探しをしてもらう。随時状況は携帯で報告
the pop. Scurrying movements. And bang! This sounded somehow really lively out here. Oh, what was that? I followed in the direction the sounds had come from. And there she was. Kumikita-san. She had tried to hide herself, and while doing so, her head, she had squeezed herself into the small opening under the water tank, hiding all but her head, while she was cradling in her hands. Um, Kumikita-san? <coughs> Still holding her head, she was apologizing for her might. そう、気がつくとここにいたんです。あの、世の中には不思議なことがいっぱいありまして、きっとこれもそうなんです。お菓子とかそれから降ってきました。だ、that's not it. I was hoping she'd calm down for starters. Did she mistake me for a teacher or something? I let out a heavy sigh and inspected my surroundings. There was a bag of chips on the ground. And its contents were scattered all over the place. A sound I had heard before must have been the sound of the bag of chips being torn. I tried to continue the dialogue from here. Kumikita-san. Kumikita-san. What are you doing in a place like this? I interrupted the frantic Kumikita-san, who was still apologizing for some reason. She finally realized. Yeah, that's me. It seems like she remembered my name and my voice. Somehow I'm relieved she's talking to me directly now. Well, he might have that kind of talent, but I'm not him. She said in relief. <laughs> While trying to lift her head, she hammered the back of her head against the pipe on the water tank above. <laughs> Seems like she had hit her head like that earlier. You okay? <laughs> Wait, no, no cry, Kavika san. <laughs> Somehow she seemed like a restless person. Uh, um, sure. Please do so. She struggled for a while, trying to crawl out from underneath the water tank. What is it? She struggled wildly, but didn't budge an inch. Well, if you ask... I grabbed both her arms and tried to pull her out. She still wouldn't move any further. She definitely must be stuck on concrete. Hmm? Just as I raised my head to look, I noticed that her skirt was lifted up and half of her printed underwear was clearly visible. An anteater? Dude, do we get CG? CG! Uh, maybe it's an armadillo. Wait, what am I even looking at? Um, can we get son? <laughs> I think your skirt might be stuck on something. Ah, so good. slid her hand around the water tank, rummaging for something. Uh, no, uh, yes. Ah, uh, so it's an after all. Uh, don't worry, I only saw half of it. Look. I, I couldn't even figure out whether it was an armadillo or an ant eater. <laughs> On the verge of crying, she managed to release the skirt and crawl out from under the water tank. <sighs> Kumikita-san stood up and started brushing the dust from her uniform. Um, startled. Kumikita-san took a step back and fixed her gaze on me. Several seconds passed like this. <laughs> and it's not 
like where we're going to get one to begin with. Listen, you don't have to worry about it. I think you'll be okay. Uh, uh, well, thanks a lot, Roy. Yeah, probably. What exactly would you be okay with beyond me? Yeah, good luck with that. And just like that, the imposter G of one girl was born. She said, pointing at me. Okay. Uh, okay. This time she pointed at herself. That sells nothing. If she can, if she's convinced of it herself, she'll just let it leave it at that. As you can see, well, it's not like there was any special reason for it. Uh, whoa, be told that by her. But, Kuniki san, you're a bit strange too. I retorted. She said with a smile, I don't think a normal person would come up to the roof and crawl into that water tank. Kuniki san took a seat near the water tank. え、フェアプレイス。なんとなく足を運んじゃうようなところ。そこにいるとすごく落ち着いちゃうようなとさ。うん、足が出そうね。私、ここベストプレイス。She a favorite place you often end up going to. Somewhere where you can feel at ease. For me, it's probably where my friends are. If my friends are there, any place can become my favorite place, I think. Though, I can't really feel at ease in such a place. Kumikita-san ran her eyes across the scenery beyond the fence. I followed her example and took in the scenery. I could see the whole town from here. Yeah, I think it's a great place. え、気に入ってもらえてよかった。自分の好きなとこ他の人に好きって言ってもらえたら結構嬉しいよね。でもね、ここがあんまり知られちゃうととっても危険。いろいろとね。だからここは内緒なのです。オッケー。アンファムダ。これであなたも共犯者。ワイ。イズダテリアス。怒られちゃうからね。ここ。あ、一人で出るときはドライバー持ってこないとまだ開かないよ。ちょっ
Yeah. And before I knew it, she was holding quite a pile of goodies. A wobble. She unwrapped it and started shoving it in her mouth. Thank you, but I'm already stoked. I mean, you know, I just finished my lunch. Oh? No, probably not quite that much. The point is a biscuit at her, don't you? I don't quite follow, but okay, I'll give it a try. So when the rest of the lunch were trying to clean keep her with her incoherent growling. Ugh. Stopping point. Good night, everybody. Next time I'll try not to make echoes. <laughs>